In this video, we're going to take a look at the 118th scale Avatar amp suit. We're going to look at the background and design of the amp suit. We're going to look at the scale, the detailing, the articulation, and then we're going to sum it all up. Early on in the Avatar movie, we're introduced to the amp suit. We see and hear its hulking form marching around the base, and this sets it up as something that will be part of the action later in the film. It's an imposing piece of equipment, and it's reminiscent of the cargo loader from Cameron's Aliens film. It's a somewhat standard mech with a humanoid form and centralized cockpit. Unlike designs like Gundam or Mazinga, its smaller size draws comparisons to the Votom's mecha, a much smaller design which emerges from its function as an armored tank to be used in a more conventional style war. This aligns with Cameron's own design sense, drawing on modern military hardware like the Apache gunship. These design cues can be seen in his other work, such as the Aliens dropship. I ended up getting the amp suit off of Amazon. It was $40. This was a little more than I wanted to pay, but compared to some of the Acid Rain mechs that were going for $160 or $140, it seemed like a really good price. And there's also this Halo mech, which I got a while ago for $40, that's kind of equivalent, but I don't think it has the detail or the feel of this mech. This one just feels way better than the Halo mech. Okay, so it came in this nice picture box showing off the toy, and on the back you can see some of the details. I put a G.I. Joe figure into it, and the figure felt a little bit small, whereas I tried a Joy Toy, who's a more uh, modern 4-inch figure, and that felt a little bit better. Also, just the styling felt like it fit the Joy Toy better than the G.I. Joe. The uh, Acid Rain and Joy Toy figures just have a little bit more weathering and feel a little bit more realistic, and that kind of matched up with the amp suit. You can see the cockpit was detailed, just like here in the movie. You can see how the figure kind of slides in, just like the guy did in the movie. And then here's the weapon. It's a pretty powerful, like, auto cannon, which is not like a machine gun, but more like a big kind of cannon that rapidly fires. And the, uh, the handles and all the details are there on the toy. The joints are nicely detailed. There's lots of, like, little panel lines and reinforcement and little rivet holes. And he's got his blade on the side, which in the movie is pretty awesome when he loses his gun. Kind of like a giant Rambo knife. And if you grew up in the 80s, you wanted a giant Rambo knife, so this is pretty cool. The legs are nicely detailed with kind of that, um, that cross bracing and detailing to really give it a feel like structure and, and form and like it's strong enough. And so you can see it there lined up with some of the other mechs. And, you know, it stacks up pretty well and feels like it matches that Acid Rain Anklo Transport, the APC. All the joints have a nice ratcheting sound, like when you slide that kind of shoulder piece. It just, you hear the big clicking, and when you turn his shoulder, you hear the clicking. So the joints really feel strong. They don't feel like they're going to break or st stick or anything like that, but uh, they definitely feel like they're going to hold in place. So you don't have to worry about him holding that big gun or and uh, even him picking up a figure or something like that. There's another hand that's um, detachable. It's more like a fist, but I like that open one because he can hold the gun with that. And then here's the giant Rambo blade, which is pretty nice. It holds real nicely in that sheath and, you know, feels like the guy could rip it out of there. The cockpit cover is really nice. And there you can see the leg joints are nice as well. You got good rotation at the hip and then some more like popping and ratcheting. The knees are super strong. Like you can see there, I'm having to use both my hands to really change the, uh, the angle of the knees. So, you know, if you put it in a pose, it's going to stay. The feet, I'm not a huge fan of those like big kind of like, I know it's like duck feet, but I guess they uh, they make it look like it'll you know be able to run through the mud and stuff like that. And so there you can see how the uh, the figure comes out. That's a joy toy. And then here's putting old beach head in there, and he fits in really nicely. It's not as tight as the uh, joy toy, so looks pretty good. I mean, you could definitely paint this up as a as a Cobra or GI Joe uh, mech for sure. I think I'm gonna leave it like this, kind of like a near future joy toy thing to to go with my Anklo APC, but um. That guy just looks really cool with the skull mask and feels like he fits right in this. So to sum it up, I'm really happy with this um, this amp suit. It looks really cool. When I first saw it in the movie, I thought it looked a little goofy. I didn't think it looked good like a Votoms or some of the other mecha, but I've kind of grown to like it. And I like how it just feels very bare bones, like, you know, form follows function. This is just a very functional kind of piece of military hardware. And that really aligns with sort of these joy toy figures and that Anklo um, APC, it just looks really good. Like a, like again, a near future kind of thing, not too far fetched, not too futuristic. I'm definitely tempted to like get another one and 
paint it blue and put some Cobra uh, logos on it or, you know, some G.I. Joe logos or something like that. I think I'm going to hold off. Um, I know the Halo mech went on sale and people got a bunch of those for like $20 or less. So maybe if this goes on sale, I'll get some more. But but right now I like just having the one. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to be conscious of space. And I think just this one kind of adds to my uh, Joy Toy and Acid Rain kind of collection. And, uh, and it'll serve me well there. But, you know, if you want it for G.I. Joe or for, you know, Cobra or anything like that, I definitely recommend it. It's a really cool really fun toy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Yo, Joe.